Hi, my name Hello. is Regina. Hi, my name is Regina and I'm the director of the Spartan Pathways Travel Program. And thank you very much for attending today, this preview of the Princes and Promenades Cruise. Uh, I'd like to introduce to you your host, your MSU host for the trip, Amy Carnahan. She is the director of events for our programs team at the alumni office. And Amy, would you like to say a few words? Yeah. So hello, everybody. I'm Amy, and um, I look forward to being your host. Um, all of these places are new places for me, and I'm very excited to be able to experience them with you. So um, some of you I may see on the flight over, but if not, I will see you once we get on the boat. Great. Thank you, Amy. Okay, uh, next we have Emily Dean. She is the client service representative for Go Next. And uh, she, I've been working with her a number of years and she's wonderful. And so she's going to give you a review of the tour. Go ahead, Emily. Perfect. Thank you and welcome everybody. Um, so I'm just going to start talking about what's going to happen from the beginning of the trip into the middle and then up into disembarkation. And if anybody's going on the post cruise, um, feel free to raise your hand. We can answer questions now. We can wait till the end, raise your hand, put them in a chat box on um, whatever works for you guys. Um, we got a small group today. So, but I'll start out by talking about um, final documents. By now, you guys should have received them. They come via email from Go Next. Um, they would say final documents and then your name and then for the trip. Inside the uh, email, there will be some attachments. There is the Oceana Cruise Summary, um, the general information page. And if you're booked on a pre or a post cruise, um, you would have an attachment for each of those items with the day-to-day -day activities for them. If anybody hasn't received these documents, you can just let Regina or myself know and we will get them to you. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out um, for the Oceana Cruise Summary um, there's a lot of information on this. There is what port you're going to be in each day, your dining, shore excursions. It also has the port address. So if you guys are coming in on your own and you need to make your way to the cruise terminal, the address is listed on this document. Uh, the next document that's important is the uh, general information page. Um, it has tips and tricks and like ideas and stuff. But the main thing I want to point out is the information on the phone numbers. Um, this is for it when you're traveling on the day of departure. It is for any trip interruptions that you might have. If your flight is changed, if your flight is going to be late, if you're going to misconnect, anything that happens that we should know about, um, please go ahead and give the phone number a call. There's four of them listed, but the after hours number for the day of travel is the 612-802-5560. So when we get off the phone, um, put it in your phone, your fo cell phone right away so then you don't have to like look through the papers or take a screenshot of this page. Again, it's the 612-802-5560. Um, this is a cell phone. We do have somebody on call for this. Um, it's, a, it's an agent from the office, so you might've talked to them before. But when it being a cell phone, um, if you don't get through to somebody, please leave a message, send a text um, with the new information, and we will go ahead and give you a call or a text back, whatever you reach out to us. Because um, if there's any changes, we need to know about your new flight information, so we're there to pick you up. If we don't know that you're coming in earlier or, or on a different flight, we won't know to pick you up. Another thing that I like to tell people that is if you do, um, if they do say like, oh, your flight is canceled or whatever the situation is, I always say um, you can give us a call, but while you're waiting, if you are right there in front of like the Delta counter or United, whoever you're flying on, jump in line with them. Like if there's nobody in line, they might actually get your flight changed before, you know, we would be able to. So it's always good to talk with them. And if they do make your change again, just text that uh, emergency phone number and let us know. Um Luggage delays. If there were to be any luggage delays, one thing to uh, make sure you do is take a file a claim at the airport. They'll give you a little ticket. What this helps with is um, once you get on board, you would give the program manager or the concierge um, this ticket and they would be able to help you locate your luggage faster. So if luggage is delayed, make sure you file a claim while you are at the airport. Um, packing, people ask me about packing all the time. It just depends really on what you're bringing. If you're bringing two suitcases, 
Um, I usually try to put a little of my stuff in one and another, and also in the other. Um, I also like to put any important things that I'm taking with me, um, maybe one extra outfit or maybe my walking shoes or a pair of dress shoes um, and my medication um, in my carry-on. So if my luggage were delayed, I have at least a few things that will get me by until my luggage shows up. Um, prescription medication should be in the original pill container that um, comes from the pharmacy. And uh, vitamins and supplements, those can be in just a daily pill container. Um, a lot of people also take uh, uh, photocopies of their prescriptions just in case you were to need to get something filled while you were traveling. Um, it just helps with the pharmacy over there. Uh, cell phone providers, everybody should check with their cell phone companies to see if you guys have an international plan. Um, some people think, well, I'm not going to need it. I want to disconnect. I'm on vacation. But you just never know when you're going to really need a cell phone. Like if your flight is um, delayed or changed and you're flying through Amsterdam, um, that's international. So you wouldn't be able to make a call out. So, or if something happens when you're on a shore excursion and you need, you know, whatever, um, it's just always good. So I would just check with them. And if it, that you don't have it, I would suggest adding it. And I always suggest adding it even one extra day on the end, um, just in case there was a delay in your flight. Another person to check with is credit cards and banks. Um, check with them to just let them know that you were traveling out of the country, what dates you're traveling, and they'll probably ask you where you guys are going to. And you guys are going to a lot of places. So depending on your bank, they might want to know each stop and on what day. So um, just that is that would be listed on your Oceana Cruise summary where you're going to be each day. Um, now, once you've landed in your destination, you're going to go ahead and pick up your luggage and then you're going to go through customs and immigration if it's required. Um, and then you guys will uh, look for the ground transportation sign. This goes for if you are on a go next pre cruise, if you're transferring on your own or if you're coming in on embarkation day, no matter what you're doing, um, once you arrive, you're gonna all find the ground transportation. And if you are on a go next pre-cruise, you'll exit ground transportation, find it, um, and then outside the door for a go next pre-cruise, we will have a representative there and they'll have a go next sign. And they will then bring you to the hotel. Um, your transportation might be a sedan or a small motor coach, it just depends on how many people um, are coming in on that flight. Uh, if you're coming in on embarkation day and you're taking an Oceana transfer, those are gonna be large motor coaches. And again, they'll have a representative also and in their motor coach, they'll have an Oceana sign. Um, and if you're coming in on your own, ground transportation will lead you to taxis and it'll lead you to Ubers. Um, so that, um, oh, hang on, where'd you go? Sorry. You went away on my screen here. Um, so that's for transfers. Um, and once you've arrived at the pier, you're gonna check in with Oceana. And when you check in with Oceana, it is going, they're gonna issue you a world card. The world card acts as it gets you on and off the ship. Uh, it's the key to your room, it's onboard payment. Uh, Oceana is a cashless cruise line. Um, so you're gonna use this if you go to the spa or if you wanna order a bottle of wine, um, anything that you wanna do, you would go ahead and use this. Um, you can also view your invoice on the TV um, for any charges that you've made on this card to verify you know, what you've been charging. Um, before we got on this call, I looked up, I always like to look up the currency for where you guys are going. Um, most of where you are going is the Euro and the, um, online says most of the countries you are going to only accept the Euro and they don't accept the U S dollar. However, almost everywhere accepts a major U S credit card. The only time that you would probably need like small cash is if you wanted to tip somebody on a shore excursion, or if it was a, a small vendor that you wanted to buy a gift at or food or such. Um, and for currency taking out, um, I don't ever really, I maybe will take out a hundred if I'm going on a trip, like exchange a hundred dollars. And then if you get over there and you need more, you can do so on board the ship. Um, you can also do it at banks when you're there. So if you go to a bank, then just put in your ATM card and it'll give you the local currency. Um, when you embark the ship, 
your cabin might not quite be ready, but that's okay. You guys are feel uh, feel free to explore wherever you want on the ship. Um, walk around, get the lay of the land. Uh, if you're hungry, you can stop in the Terrace Cafe and get uh, lunch. It is um, a very grand buffet. They have lots of choices, lots of options. You just seat yourself. They have outdoor seating, indoor seating. You can just relax up in there. Um, one thing, when you do check in with Oceana, they will take your luggage. So you don't have to worry about that. But if you arrive really early um, and your room might not be ready until later uh, and you want your pills or a book to read or whatever you want, just keep that with you um, because you won't see your luggage now until you get back into your room. Um, and even if your room is ready um, early, your luggage might not quite be there yet. But if you brought it to the ship, it will be in your room, but they just have a lot of luggage to bring. So just be patient and it will it'll arrive Um once they've done, once they're all done with it. Um, for the staterooms, Oceana has uh, two 110 volts, two 220s, and they have USB outlets. They have a hair dryer. Um, so if you're just going on the cruise, you don't need an adapter of any sort. But if you are going on the pre or the post cruise, you will need a converter. Um, and just a universal, I, on Amazon, I saw them for like anywhere between $13 to $25. Um, so you could just purchase one online. Uh, each... Cabin also has internet. If there's two people in a room, it provides two internet services. If there's more than two people in a room, you will just have to log in and log out and just share your um, information with who you're rooming with. Uh, internet packages are just the basic one and that might be all you need. It depends on what you guys are doing. Um, if you're just checking emails, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, even sometimes you could watch a video. It just really depends where you guys are at and where the reception is with the towers over there. Um, so if you need to upgrade your package, you can do so online or once you get on board, but I would wait until you get on board, check out and see if you need more. Most people don't need more. I've never needed more when I've been on board, um, but you can always check. Another thing in your room uh, is Oceana's Currents. Currents is their newsletter and what it is, it's, um, what's happening the next day. So it's a letter that it's a like a little four page letter uh, that they put on your bed at turn down service. It's for what's happening the next day. It'll tell you what port you're going into, what time they're arriving, uh, what time you can get off the ship, what time you need to be back on the ship, um, emergency phone numbers for the ship. I always take this with me or I take a picture of it because it's very important information on there if something were to happen. It also will tell you like when trivia is or high tea or the specials of the day. Um, so it's just a lot, I mean, if I'm gonna look at anything in my cabin, that's one of the things that I like to look at. Um, another thing in your cabin is gonna be your shore excursion tickets. Um, shore excursion tickets will probably be on your vanity and they're gonna be for the entire week. Um, some people um, are waitlisted. And so if you are waitlisted for any shore excursions, this is where you might find out if you've cleared a waitlist. So make sure that when you get on board, um, check your cabin for the shore excursions, check the tickets. If you have two tickets for one day, that means you've cleared the shore excursion. And then you're just going to have to let destination services know which one you'd like to keep. And then make sure you cancel what you don't want to keep. And that goes for if you want to cancel anything also when you're on board, make sure you cancel it with them because otherwise you'll be charged for a shore excursion. Some people get on board and they're like, Whew, I've I've overdone it. I've booked way too many things. I, I just need a break for whatever in this day. So then they go ahead and cancel it. Um, another thing with shore excursion tickets, uh, when you get them, uh, if you want to put MS in the bottom, then we know that you guys are all traveling together. And if you guys are booked on the same shore excursion, our program managers will make sure that you guys are on the same bus. Um, so just go, or you can, you can write Michigan state out, whatever you want. Um, but our program managers will meet you in the lounge every morning before shore excursions. And that's where we, um, dispatch from. And in the lounge, there's two tables. Uh, one's gonna be an Oceana table and one's gonna be a go next table. And so you'll just take a seat and when they call your shore excursion, then you'll bring your ticket up and you will exchange it. And then if you're with other Michigan State people, they will put you on that bus. And if nobody else from Michigan State's on that tour, um, then you'll be with other go next people. Uh, you might see the program manager. Sometimes if we can get program managers on shore excursions, they also go uh, along for assistance. 
Um, your program managers for this sailing are Megan Woods and Sherry Coyle. Um, Megan is been on, I don't even know, I cruised with her many years ago and it was over a hundred. I'll have to email her and ask her because I don't know where she's at, but she's amazing. Sherry's amazing also, um, but they are on deck four. Um, if you guys are on the pre-cruise, uh, you will get your name badges there. If you're not on the pre-cruise and when you get on board the ship, if your room's not ready, feel free to stop by, say hi, introduce yourself, um, and they'll give you your name badge. Um, if you don't get on the ship until later and you're tired, you just want to relax, um, they'll bring your um, name badges to the uh, reception. With that, I'm going to talk a little bit about your events. Um, can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you say name badges. Is that just for Go Next or Michigan State people? So you guys will have your own Michigan State, and then it'll have your name with the Michigan State logo. And then, but everybody at Go Next has one, um, but they'll just be their school's information on it. Just your name and then your school logo. So this is in addition to the card we have for Oceana Cruise. Yeah, and they can slip into it if you wanted to. Um, I would probably put it in my purse. Um, and you don't have to wear the name badges you don't want. It's nice for like for Amy to get to know you right away and to remember names and for our program managers. You know, but by day four, if you're like, I don't want to wear this. I mean, it's not mandatory to wear, but it's just nice to get to know each other and to know what schools everybody's are, everybody's with. Okay. Yeah. We have 43 that are on this trip, so... Uh, the longer you can wear them, the better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I, sorry, before you go on, I have another question about um, our flight arrangements. You know, our, will that become, I know we got our schedule, but we don't have our seat assignments yet or our tickets. So seat assignments, you want to go ahead and log on. Everybody, if you want to, if you get received your final documents, on there, they'll say like, um, I think it says airline locator or reference locator. Um, it's six letters and numbers long. And you just log into that airline's website and you put that code in along with your last name. Some air airlines require first names also. And then you just log in and you should be able to see um, if you have seats, if you need to assign seats. And then 24 hours prior, um, you can check in. I suggest, depending on uh, if the airline has an app, I suggest downloading the app and then checking in with the app because then it's on your phone um, and you can just take a screenshot of it um, and keep it in your phone. So, okay, yes, I'm, I'm old fashioned, so we don't get uh, paper tickets. No, 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 you don't get paper tickets. Um, you can just check in online and then when you get to the airport, if you want when when you check your bags in they would can print you a boarding pass there too or if it, they have kiosks again depending on the carrier the kiosk will print you a boarding pass okay great okay thank you yep you're welcome so talking about the events a little bit here we did email them out but it was quite a while ago we will also be handing this out on board it's um i don't know if you can see this it just says go on the top and then it lists the program managers and it also will tell you you know about putting your um school's name on the shore excursion tickets but the first night we are um, going to have a go next reception and this is where we have um all the schools in one room and the program managers are there to introduce themselves tell you what um, they're there to do um, program managers are there to help you with absolutely anything and everything that you need um no no problem or Anything big or small, it doesn't matter if you have a compliment, a complaint, whatever, just let them know right away because Oceana, Michigan State, and Go Next, we are really all good partners and we want to make you happy. So if something isn't right or up to your likings, just let Megan or Sherry know and they will go ahead and work to resolve it. Um, so that night they will go ahead and introduce themselves and you guys will have your little area and then well, it'll be a big area with 43 people, but, and then everybody else will be around. Um, so that's the first night. And then the second night, July 24th, um, you guys are going to meet in the Nautica lounge and then you'll have a Michigan state reception. And then in Estonia on the 25th, we'll have a captain's reception. This is, um, to be determined as far as time and where it's going to be just depending on um everything that's happening that day then on the 27th we're going to have a group photo followed by dinner 
And for this, um, you'll meet at the Grand Staircase. The program managers will take your picture. This is the day if you guys, um, some people like to wear school colors, and I'm sure Regina's sending a flag. So we'll take your picture on the Grand Staircase, and then we will bring you guys to the Grand Dining Room. Uh, you won't, you'll be in the same little area. Um, you're a big group, though, so you guys will have separate tables, but you will have a Grand Dining experience um, as the group. Um, one thing to talk about also is Oceana is country club casual. Um, what that means for Oceana is no shorts, no jeans, and no beach flip-flops. It doesn't mean that you can't wear open-toed shoes. They just don't want the like the beach flip-flops. Um, and that is for specialty dining and for the grand dining room. Uh, anywhere else on the ship, the Terrace Cafe, the Waves Grill, um, just wandering around the ship is casual. Um, shore excursions, definitely casual. Um, wear comfortable shoes. I checked the temperatures out here again um, today, this morning, and you guys are going to a lot of different areas of the world. So it can range anywhere from lows of 57, and that was like by Belgium. And then when you're in Germany, it could be highs of like in the 80s, like 82, it said. Um, so it might be a little, um, you know, a lot of different. I dress in layers. So in the mornings, it'll start out cool. And I might wear a lightweight jacket and then just some lightweight pants. Um, you know, it could be rainy, it said when I was looking online. But I always just check the weather before you go um, to make sure um, that you can dress accordingly. Um People ask me about dressing up. Like like I said, it's country club casual. You don't have to, but some people do dress up. It's just really whatever you guys are comfortable with. If you, some people like to dress up. I know in my office, uh, we're not really, we don't dress up much anymore. So sometimes like if we have somebody special coming in, we like to dress up and I always, so if you want to dress up when you're on board, go for it. It's, it's a, it'll be, it's a fun experience on board. The specialty dining, if you haven't booked it by now, um, you can always try to make changes once you're on board. Or if you're like, uh, this night's not going to work, I would rather do a different night. Or now I've met the Smiths and we want to dine together. Um, once you're on board uh, not in the Terrace Cafe, there's usually a maitre d' up there that can assist you with any changes that you want to try to make. I'm not saying that they will be able to make them, but it doesn't hurt to ask if you would like to try to make changes on dining. They're more able to accommodate them once they, you get on board because it's kind of like shore excursions. People are changing around and um, other things become open. And so with that being said, if one time you're like, I just don't, the dining, it's just too much tonight. I just want to relax and go to the Terrace Cafe. Just make sure you let them know that you're canceling. So then that opens it up for another spot. Um, so you guys are going to be, you're on the Nautica. So there is laundry on the ship. It is on deck seven. Um, laundry is a very popular place. I don't know if there's a good or a bad time to go. I feel like it's always pretty popular. So um, if you need to do laundry, um, deck seven, uh, they also have a service that you can send it out. Um, it's pretty reasonable if you need to have anything done and you don't want to do laundry on your own. Uh, this restaurant has the Polo Grill in Toscano. Um, so a steakhouse and then an Italian house. Um, shore excursions. Let's just see. I just want to look here. Guidelines for shore excursions. If there's anything that is... Um, like you need to have something covered, it would be in the shore excursion description. And if anybody has any questions about that, feel free to call our agents and they can help you and they can look at the list. Um, let's see here. Meeting the program managers if you want to. They have, okay, I'm just looking at my stuff here. Okay. Okay, so for your invoices, like I said, they'll be on the TV. You'll also um, receive an invoice about mid-cruise um, with it printed out. And then you will also receive a disembarkation letter. This, um, they just want to re-verify your flights. Um, so just make sure you write down your flight information. If anything changed, like Delta sent you a text message and it's changed. Because depending on um, your time of your flight will depend on when you get to disembark. And if you guys are on the post cruise, you guys will all disembark together. Um, so you feel free to talk to the program managers. They'll probably have an idea you know, closer to towards the end of when Oceana um, is going to let you guys all off together. Um, for shore excursions, sometimes people ask me about tipping. Um, again, th this is this is going to be up to your discretion if you want to tip or not. Um, 
I base it on uh, the tour guide, the driver, whether it's a four hour tour or an eight hour tour, but I usually do a couple dollars for each person, depending on the length of the tour. And if I enjoyed their service or, and I enjoyed the tour, um, for the disembarkation letter, um, they'll give, I, let me back up. Sorry about that. So for the disembarkation letter, they will give you tickets for disembarkation. You'll meet in the lounge and then you guys will um, all disembark together. And one thing with disembarkation, when you guys um, leave the ship, there you'll walk down into this holding area. Now, I've, I've never been in the Dublin holding area, but I assume it's like the rest of them. So there's a holding area and they'll have your ticket. Your ticket might be seven. And then there'll be a whole bunch of luggage areas. And then there'll be a sign for uh, luggage seven. You want to make sure you grab your luggage um and bring it on the transfer with you because if you don't bring the luggage with you on the transfer it'll be just it'll be at the port um so you just want to make sure you grab your luggage um tips for on the cruise they are automatically added to your invoice um this the tips the gratuities go for anybody you've come in contact with um so for penthouse and above they're 23 dollars a day per person and concierge and down are 18 dollars a day per person um, you can make changes to this. Um, that would be with reception. Um, reception, you can say, I only worked with Bobby and Steve the whole time and I only want to tip them. Or you can say, I want to give them more. I want to give them less. That's done at reception. One thing with this ship, um, everything's right in the same area. So our program managers have a desk um, and they have hours that they work, usually mornings and evenings. Um, sometimes you'll find them there during the day too, if they're not out on a tour with you guys. Um, concierge is there, destination services and reception, and it's all at the bottom of the grand staircase. So it's all right there. Um, if you guys need anything, uh, program managers, like I said, make sure you use them, Amy, you know, they're probably going to talk to you when you get on board. We usually like to have a little host get together so you can meet all the other hosts. Um, I was going to tell you guys, some people like to know what other, um, schools are on board. I can give you a few here. Some of our other hosted schools um, are the University of Minnesota, uh, University of Tennessee, the United States Naval Academy, Oklahoma State, and K-State. So those are some of the hosted schools that will be on board with you guys. And there will be other schools on there as well. Um, and that was that was a lot. But let me let me look at the questions here on the side and then we can go through more questions. I just want to make sure that we get these over here answered. Um, where do we? I answered some of them, but yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Well, you, you know, go ahead and and take a look. Make sure I answered them correctly. <laughs> yeah. Where do we find out? Oh. Uh, Oh, so if you want to, yeah, if you want to go out on your own, everybody, yeah, feel free to go out and explore on your own. Um, in the past, Oceana um, would bring a local person on board for each port, and that local person would then give maps of the city and all of that stuff um, and tell you where to go and the must-sees. Um, that line does get long, so you could always just ask the GoNext representatives. They've been everywhere. So, I mean, I would ask them, but if you want a map, just sneak over and just grab one. Um, or if you want to talk to them, go ahead and talk to them. But the program managers, like I said, Megan has been everywhere. Sherry's been a lot of places too. So if you have something that you must see, and usually if you don't have a shore excursion plan, um, there'll be taxis outside, um, or there might even be somebody that does shore excursions. And I'm not saying you can't do it. Just please be very careful um, with the timing. Um, make sure that they know that you have to be back at a certain time. And I'd even maybe add a little buffer on it because you don't want to miss the ship. Because if you go off on your own, it's fine. Um, but Oceana, you know, they don't have a track on you. They know you're off the ship, but they don't know who you're with to get a hold of you. Um, another reason, if you'd want to bring that um, phone number with that's in the currents. Um, yeah, the currents has the forecast too. That's another good one. Yep. Uh, laundry, that's all good. Um, is there a list of shore excursion options are, were, what is, I'm, um, let's see here. Are you talking about, is there a list out there of what is still available? He's on mute. Oh. oh. He needs yeah, we, we just, we had never heard about what the, what they were. Oh, you should have received an email from us. Um, let me just see. Yeah, you should have received an email from us and it would say um, time to book your shore excursions. Um, and then it would give you usually a link. It's in your account. Do you, Have you started an Oceana account? 
He's still muted. No, you, yeah, okay. you're muted, Richard. So it would be in your OCN account, but you know what? The easiest way probably to figure it out. I mean, if you want, um, you could call our 1-800 number and one of the agents would be um, able to bring you to the right direction. The shore excursions also are listed on our website. Um, so if you went to our website and just typed in the name of the trip and then you just click on the excursions. Yeah, and then Richard, I can I can email you a list of the excursions too. Yeah. I added them. I in see. The I, I downloaded what what you sent. I didn't know anything about an Oceana uh, um, account though. Uh, there was an account with uh, like we put our names in, but I don't think that was yeah. Oceana. Yep, it definitely. Yeah, it would be. It was probably your guest registration form at the beginning of um a booking once you've booked with us then we send you an email to have you create an account um so if you received your final documents you definitely have created an account because you they need you to complete that in order to send your final docs okay so you did. yep so you guys probably okay. definitely have an account okay, okay. this is dave no walk i have a cup question when you're ready i'm ready Two questions. Number one, on excursions, can I use U.S. dollars for tipping without insulting anyone? You know, I, I think that I've always used U.S. dollars. I think that it, they would be willing to accept anything. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the ugly American. And no, no. number two, you were talking about the dress coat on board, and you didn't mention sport coats, but some, some of the documents, one of the documents you sent out mentioned sport coats. Am I ever going to need a sport coat or can I leave it at home? You can leave it at home. It's only Thank if you, you want to. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. And some <laughs> people like some people bring them because they're, they get cold. So then, you know, depending on your body temperature, I think some people bring them for that reason too. I have, but yeah, I have leave it at home. Thank <laughs> okay. you. Yeah. There's no formal. All right. formal Dave no walk signing. Yeah. <laughs> I have another question. Yeah, um, I'm on the uh, pre-cruise in Stockholm, and originally they mentioned that there would be lunch with one of the half-day tours, but then the recent stuff I got did not mention lunch. Is there going to be lunch in one of the half-day tours? Um. Okay, so that I do not know, but I could probably find out here. Um. Let's see here. Did you get your final documents? Yes. And it was it not listed in there? Correct. Okay. Um, you know, the best thing I think for this, because the agents would probably know the best answer. Otherwise, um, do you ever call our 1-800 number? Uh, a few months ago, <laughs> not recently. Okay. I was just going to see it. I, I don't know if I can find it quick enough here, um, but I can keep looking. If anybody else has questions, I can maybe find a document that tells me. Does anybody else have questions? Well, I have another what? question. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Go um, ahead. Be, when we uh, get ready to arrive at each country, will we get tipping guidelines? I mean, if we go off on our own and like for a taxi or things like that, are we just on our own as far as tipping guidelines? Yeah, it's just, you know, like the U.S., um, we are heavy tippers in the U.S. Um, they usually tip about 10% over there um for like their restaurants and such like that um but again it's it's whatever you guys want if the service is good you know less more whatever you want to do um but their average over there is about 10 percent. okay thank you any other questions i do have one thing to that i'd like to mention uh, Emily talked a little bit about disembarkation and just want to make sure that you know that once you disembark the ship, th what will happen is they'll, they'll give you a letter telling you that you need to put your luggage outside, uh, the time that you need to put your luggage outside your stateroom. They will come and pick it up. Once you disembark off the ship, they'll let you know what, you know, group, they give you a tag with a number and they'll tell you uh, who, you know, who's next to, to disembark off the ship. When you get into the terminal, make sure you identify their luggage so that it is then put on the motor coach to the airport. So just want to, we had a little bit of an issue earlier this year in which people didn't identify their luggage. So it, it, it was a little bit um 
they never, it never made it to the airport. So uh, we just want to make sure that everyone knows that, that once, uh, once you disembark, you're all set. Okay, this is Dave Nowak. I have another question. <laughs> okay, yeah. yes, go ahead. So I'm doing the post cruise at uh, Dublin. I don't want my luggage to end up at the uh, airport. Will they take care of that? Will they handle that properly? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. When you guys all get off, the, you'll just, yeah, the porters will help you bring it over to our go next bus. And that's going to take me to the uh, hotel. Yep. Mm -hmm. You guys will probably actually do a half day tour. That's usually how we um, start our post cruise, a little tour. Um, did you, it should be in your final documents, the uh, PDF attachment of your day to day schedule. Okay. okay. All right. So then uh, we did have a question regarding green uh, luggage tags. Did it, are you, um, I'm sorry, the name is cruise. Can you um, clarify that a little bit? Did you receive green luggage tags? Oh no, yeah. That's just, you can put that um, just on your luggage so that the airline knows uh, who you are and that's an identification but that's separate than the Oceana uh, um, luggage tags those you put on once you get to the terminal I'm going to be at the pre-cruise am I going to be I put those on at the hotel yes they will once you get or what once you leave the hotel for the pre-cruise to board the ship you put them on then. Thank you. Okay. All right. Hey, Amy, can, I mean, uh, Emily, I'm getting Amy and Emily mixed up here. Um, Emily, can you recite that uh, emergency number again? Yep. Yeah, Six somebody one. had a question, uh, what phone number if anything happens at the airport? So oh, for sure. It's 612-802-5560. Okay, and this is emergency number for what type of uh, issues? This is for the day of travel. Um, so if anything happens the day of travel, if you think you're going to miss your flight, if you do miss your flight, if there's a, a delay, like we just had um, delays in Houston, um, misconnects, um, it just depends, you know, if any kind of weather is going on where something might happen, you're going to want to give this phone number a call. Um, like I said, you can make changes at the airport, um, but if you do make changes at the airport, just let us know. Um, and if it's during business hours, like, and if you're still in the United States, uh, feel free to call our 1-800 number, um, the 1-800-842-9023. But when in doubt, just keep one number in your head. You might as well always use the emergency one. Um, it's it's just a departure. Um, it's not necessarily emergencies, but that's what we call it. So anything you think, if you, if you have a question, you can just call and they'll let you know, you know, it's for the day of the day of travel. And I should just call the 800 number to find out about the lunch and the pre-cruise. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, I'm looking at it right now and I see that for the, you, it has breakfast um but i don't see lunch so yeah if you want to go ahead and give the agents a call then they could check with somebody in the office um and find out if there was if there was a um lunch included um why there isn't now i don't see it on the original stuff um but they would have the best they would be able to find a communication if something were uh, to change on one of those programs okay thank you Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Well, if you do think of any questions once uh, we end here, feel free to reach out to me and or Amy, uh -huh. and uh, we will make sure that your questions are answered. And uh, also this uh, is being recorded. So I will send out a link once uh, it's finished editing, more than likely to be tomorrow or on Monday. And so if you um, couldn't quite remember what Emily said, then uh, you can take a look at that once again. So, all right. Um, I want to thank Emily very much. I think what we'll do now is so that you can get to know. Hello? Hello, can you hear us? 
Oh, oh yes. okay. Yes. Hey, Go ahead. We, we heard that the cruise provides water bottles to carry with us on the excursion. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so we don't have to bring them with us. No. And there's a, a water filling stations usually on somewhere near the state rooms. There's usually uh, some place that you can fill water. Okay, thank you. Yes. Any other questions? Okay, so um, what I think we'll do is go around the room a little bit and uh, have everyone introduce themselves. I think it's a good way for people to kind of get to know one another. We also have our Bright Crowd uh, online directory that if you haven't joined that, uh, it's another way to get to know people prior to departure. And if for some reason you haven't signed up for that and would like to just send me an email and let me know and I will send you another invitation so that you can sign up. But I'm going to go ahead and start with um, Margaret. Why don't you just say a little bit about yourself, why you decided to sign up for this trip. If you're a Michigan State grad, you know, just say yeah. the year that you graduated. And if you're not a Michigan State grad, just, you know, say any kind of connection or if you're traveling with someone else that that you know. So go ahead, Mark. Uh, hi, yeah, I'm Margaret Aguiar. I live in Rochester Hills. I'm traveling with Joanne, who's on the call, and also another friend, Diane. Joanne is the Michigan State graduate, not me. <laughs> I did go to one, one year at Michigan State, then I transferred to Eastern. I uh, graduated from Eastern in 1973. Wonderful. So, looking forward to it. Good. All right. Uh, next, we have, well, the, the label on there says Cruz, but I'm not sure what your, is that your first name, last name, or? She's muted. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's Barbara Erdelak. That's how they told me to log in. Okay. So, <laughs> That's and, no problem. Uh, I graduated in 69. And um, I live outside of Cleveland, Ohio now, and I like to travel. Okay. So thank you. All right, thanks. All right, Joanne. Hello, I'm, I'm the Michigan State grad. I graduated mm -hmm. in 74, 50 years ago. Anyways, I'm traveling with Margaret and Diane, and uh, this is my second go next tour. I enjoyed the last one, so, and I know I'll enjoy this one. Wonderful. Great. I see the wolves. Yeah, we're, we're, I don't know which the two, two wolf couple going. Okay. How about James and Becky? You go ahead first and okay. then we'll get the other. That's us. Uh, we're traveling with the, my brother, the other wolf couple, and his wife. Uh, oh. We both went to uh, Michigan State. Uh, what do say? Yeah, I won't tell you when we graduated. <laughs> we got everybody beat. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Anyway, we like to travel and uh, we're looking forward to the trip. Oh, wonderful. Okay, the other wolves. <laughs> Hi, can you hear us? Yes. Yep. Uh -huh. cool. Can you see us? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi, Jim and Becky. <laughs> Hi. Brothers. Hi, Hi, brothers. That's the brother. <laughs> Um, I graduated in 1967, and, and I I went to Michigan State for three years, but graduated from Fairleigh Dickinson in New Jersey. All right. We live in Olympia, Washington, uh, half for the last 30 years or so, and uh, I guess that's it. I saw you when you sent the brochure. I saw that this cruise was going to Bruges, and I have wanted to visit Bruges for years, so that's why we signed on. <laughs> all right okay and he, we have someone that it says iphone 27 can you uh, that, that, I... might, that might be me dave no yes. one. okay i uh i graduated from state in 1966 my wife and i'll be traveling on this cruise we live in novi michigan and this will be our second uh go next cruise Wonderful, wonderful. All right, and then we have Richard. You're, yeah, you're, you need to unmute. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm afraid we can't hear you. Hey, there, there I go. There you go. There, yeah. So uh, my wife and I, Sandy um, and McGlue and Rich, uh, we're uh, class of '78. Um, yeah, and we're looking forward forward to it. It's our forty. Uh, 40- fifth anniversary that we're celebrating and uh we've been on one other cruise which was for our 25th anniversary so, so. Mm-hmm. great congratulations yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great wonderful way to celebrate it so yes and then amy do you want to say any other words at all Yes. So um, I did put my cell phone into the chat. So you guys keep that with you too, because I will have service the entire time we're over there. Um, And my husband and I, uh, my husband, Casey, we fly in on Sunday around noon. So if you are in Stockholm and there's anything that you need at all, please do not be afraid to reach out. Um, We will be there and then we'll be on the ship around noon on Tuesday. So yeah, just really looking forward to it. I'm also really looking forward to Bruges. Um, and seeing that that has definitely been a uh, top of my list for a long time. So I I look forward to it and I'm excited to meet all of you. So safe travels. And like I said, I'll probably see some of you at the airport. Um, I'll be wearing a Michigan State hat, probably a Michigan State jacket. Um, so just please, if you see me on your flight, come over and say hi. And, and um I will see you soon. Amy, how, how, yeah. do we, how do we Could see you? your phone number? I put it in the chat, but I'll give it to yeah, everyone yeah. <laughs> right now. So my phone number is 231-313-0244. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And you can call me, you can text me um, anytime. So like I said, we'll be in there on Sunday around noon. Yeah. And then was there another question for me? No. Okay. Well, then I will see you all um, in just over a week. Okay. (laughs) Wonderful. Thank you all for attending. And uh, I wish you safe travels as well and a wonderful time. And again, if you have questions, feel free to reach out and we will do our best to answer those. And I want to thank Emily uh, for um covering this for you and um i will be sending the video link out so there again good have a great time and go green thank you thank you bye-bye thank you thank you thank you